New Orleans Saints defensive tackle Tyler Davison, 95, on the field before kickoff against the Pittsburgh Steelers, Sunday, December 23, 2018, at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Advocate staff photo by Hillary S. C. H. E. I. N. U. K. Tyler Davison is staying in the NFC South, but it won't be with the New Orleans Saints. The NFL Network's Ian Rapoport reported Saturday afternoon that Davison signed a one year deal with the Atlanta Falcons, New Orleans' biggest rival. Davison reportedly visited with the Falcons earlier this week on Monday. Saints free agent defensive tackle Tyler Davison is taking a visit to his team's biggest rival. Davison played for the Saints for four seasons, serving as a starter for the past three. In 2018, Davison played in 14 games, starting in 12. He recorded 23 tackles, including two tackles for loss. He also had three quarterback carries and a pair of sacks. Saints selected Davison in the fifth round of the 2015 draft out of Fresno State. The possible loss of Davison has been a big part of the Saints' thought process and free agency. It's a big reason the team signed Malcolm Brown, who spent the past four seasons with the New England Patriots. The team also signed Mario Edwards Jr., who can play defensive tackle and end. Edwards spent last season with the New York Giants. The Saints agreed to a deal with former Patriots defensive tackle Malcolm Brown on Thursday, adding a big piece at a suddenly big position of need. For Mario Edwards Jr., this was a chance to get back close to home. We just had to address the defensive line position, Sean Payton said at the NFL owners' meetings in March. Part of that was, Tyler is a free agent and Sheldon, Rankins, is going to be up against the timeline when we start the year. Put that with Tyler and it was a must position. We signed a couple of players there. We just felt like if the season were to start as we came out of last year, Sheldon's unhealthy, Tyler's a free agent and you really had our young player, Stallworth, and on Yamada, Rankins will miss the first part of the season after suffering a torn Achilles in the playoffs. On Yamada's status for the start of the season is unknown after he was cited for allegedly having marijuana delivered to his home. The loss of Davison would be the second key piece of the defensive line. Defensive end Alex Okafor signed a three-year deal worth $18 million with the Kansas City Chiefs. Alex Okafor won't be back in New Orleans for a third season, it's been three weeks since free agency began.